Okay, we're gonna be talking about accessories. Um, Freco and some Titan. Okay, so you got your pump armor here, I'll probably explained to you in videos, it's to protect your pump from freezing. But also rusting and any kind of drying, so your balls won't be stuck to the valve. You got your TSL here, you throw it at your piston rod, a couple squirts, and what that means is that when your rod goes up and down, there's no dry paint on the rod being brought down to damage your packings. Um, it doesn't lubricate anything inside, it's not essential for inside, it's just to keep that rod from bringing dry paint down to your packings to destroy them, so that's what that's for. I also use it, if you watch in other videos, I used to use it for a liquid sandpaper. I'll get these threads nice and saturated with some oil, and I'll just screw it. It's not lubing it, it's just like disintegrating the, the the paint at a very fine level so I use that for that sometimes um, got your pump armor right here a cup of coffee right there some smokes in the lighter um, filters hydraulic oil and more uh, going up to the upper level we got some hoses most people are familiar with your 15 25 50 foot your whip hoses at different lengths um, what I got here is a whip hose that is much more thinner um, you see that it's going to help for flexibility. Um, also, it helps dead banning. What dead banning is, uh, just do some research. I can't do it justice right now. I don't have the vocabulary. Um, but what it means is you're going to get more consistent um, pressures, fans, sprays, and all that jazz. So, I don't have them up here, but they go up to 50 foot, I believe. You can order them. I don't have them. You get your five um, Finish Pro air hoses and fluid lines, your extension wands. All your different type of filters, believe it or not, a 200 mesh filter, but they do, not every store will have that. Your filters for your new guns, your filter for your old guns. You'll find these in old, old guns as well as your pole gun. Alright, your bigger filter, your 30 mesh for uh, elastomerics, progressively finer till you get to your 200 mesh, that's for clear coats, lacquers, your strainers. Your, um, for your 395 to your 595, got your ones for your 695s and above. That's a little more finer and that's, uh, I believe, a crush proof. But, you know, you shouldn't be crushing your uh, strainers. Um, some accessories, duck bills, uh, valves, hoses, HVLP. Um, your jet rolling system right here. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's a two-in-one system. It sprays as well as rolls. Let me just assemble it. All right, so I show customers these, so I have them in. The, I have them to touch and play around with, and sometimes they're not together. But let me put it back together. Okay. So this right here, this right here, right there. That pole gun right there, that is called your jet roller. All right. So what it is is that you'll have this aiming at the wall. It's going to spray it, and that's going to back roll it at the same time. So basically, you're going like this. Maybe angle it properly, but you're not aiming it at the roller. It's just going to get you some splash back. You can move this around, and that. Uh, what it also does is when you disconnect this, you can do some free hand rolling. Alright, so this connects like so. And so you got your roller. Alright, so that's a jet roller. It's going to make your job faster and easier. And you also got that nice little extension. And you got what is called a clean shot. Now this comes separate if you want to buy it separate, but you should be, reus you should be using this on an extension one three feet or more. Um, what it does is it prevents spitting. Um, so, as you can see, I'm turning this dial right here. When it moves far back, it pulls the needle back for flushing. And when you turn it the other way, it brings the needle forward to prevent spitting. The reason why it spits is you'll probably have 2,000 PSI flowing through here, but as soon as you let go of that trigger, that's instantly zero. Let's just say that's 2,000, but averaging is 1,000 PSI, so it comes like a spit. That's why this clean shot is essential for um, for preventing spinning when you're using extension one. This doesn't go on to a gun. If your gun is leaking, probably the needle's bad or your tip is severely worn out. 
All right, so that's that. You also got your pull gun right here. It's just a simple pull gun, almost like that setup, but that has an extension that latch this latches onto. So now this one, good for height, comes with a clean shot as well. You can see that it swivels, right? Now I have one guy that has a bad shoulder, so he'll pro he he uses this in this way if I can position it proper. All right, so put that that way right there so I don't know if this will catch on the video but he holds it right to his shoulder or right to his chest because his shoulder hurts and he just walks like this all right so that's what this is swivels like I said uh, clean shot prevents spitting all right so that's the that is just a pole gun uh, Okay, now that right there's your power roller. Here's a here's an open version without the gun though. Um, if you don't use this on a regular basis, you are going to be using this in areas like uh, hospitals, schools, parkades, anything that you need to prevent uh, overspray from getting everywhere, but still maintain uh, better production speeds. Um, you're not dipping. Basically, you're using the machine to do the dipping for you and it's just being supplied through that tube out the roller and these rollers are not are they're somewhat special but if it catches on video you can kind of see some holes happening right there it will squeeze every paint all the paint through these rollers so that's what this power roller is for most guys don't use this on a regular basis unless you're one of those guys that can make things work for yourself so um, 180 swivel degree, this uh, 180 degree swivel doesn't have the clean shot feature, 45 swivel for your gun, um, yeah, oh, going back to this, these strainers, okay, these are rock catchers, strainers, you know, bottom filters, rock catchers, whatever you want to call it, um, these are not mics, I had one guy call it a mic, it really confused me. All right, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. It is not a mic, please. Don't confuse me. <laughs> All right, going over here, same thing, extensions, um, guards, 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 as you see, six inch guard, nice and cute. Um, different filters. Now, if you own a Titan gun and you go out and buy yourself some filters, um, older guns will have the thread on feature, uh, thread on uh, filters. Um, these are reverse thread. So instead of righty tighty lefty loosey, righty loosey, uh, lefty tighty. Okay. Um, the newer guns, the RX80, the RX80 Pro, they have the slip-on ones, no threads. So just keep that in mind. Maybe bring your gun in if you're not sure. We'll just look at the threads and reverse thread. Remember that. You're gonna snap your filters if you don't remember that. Handles for the RX Pro. Um, handles for the RX Apex. Um, spray guide. Ah, it's hit and miss. If you do buy one of these it, because you saw it on YouTube or whatnot in action, um, it's good. You got to clean that pizza cutter after so many feet, or it's gonna drip. That's the uh, one drawback. Um, now for Titan, they make a filter that's a rock catcher or a mic. Uh, they make it in a fine and of course, you see that filter cleaner. This is a nice little invention. Titan is good on that. You open this cap up, put your tips in, flip it upside down. It should, it will drain from here down to here and that's you. I mean if you wanna, right? Whatever. Um, pump fluid, blah blah blah. Um, going down here, I got a nice little hopper. I just put that on here. It doesn't come with this machine, but you can see the... You can buy these. You can stick this bad boy hopper onto this machine if you want to lift it. I'd buy a 390 with that hopper instead of that GX18. GX18. Um, I just like the pump of a gray, uh, the 390 Gracos and above. They're easy to to go inside if you want to uh, unstick the valves because you don't clean your machines. Please clean your machines. Um, oh yeah, pull guns. As you see, they have a three foot. Right here's a six foot. Um, and then you also have. This telescoping wand for pressure rolling, only pressure rolling, okay? So you can get the uh, distances if you want. Um, fast finish uh, has a pressurized gun. Uh, fast finish tech spray, I should say, has a 
pressurized gun. This thing runs continuously if you're a nail gun guy, or if you're, sorry, if you're using a texture gun with a nail gun compressor, keep this in mind. Continuously runs so you don't have to recharge your nail gun compressor. Uh, bigger version, your fast finish, or not fast finish, finish pro. Um, nice little thing right here. So if you're, if you're a guy who does warehouse work, you, this is essential. See, so you put your rolls of tape right here, fees right here, underneath the wheels, and when you roll it, it rolls the tape on the ground. So if you do a lot of warehouses, um, you really only need one guy to do lines. Um, push this down, moves this down, you can adjust it as you see. You got your arrow. Chalk your line, follow the line, get your straight lines with this machine. It's like 30 pounds or so, so it's going to go straight to the ground. Uh, aerosol um, for small jobs, uh, who cares? Um, yeah, you probably use this on a field. It's a field marker. Um, if you, you should really get a line laser if you're doing lines. Um, yeah, shields, whatever. It's a side striper. So if you're not a line marking guy, but you know you own a machine, they have this what is called side striper. So let's say you're just a small guy who does like Starbucks's or you know small jobs. You buy this. You can instantly go up to your guy, uh, your um, customer, and say, "Hey, listen, I, s I just painted the inside. What about your parking lines? I can do that too." And if you don't have a six thousand to eight thousand dollar line laser, you have this four hundred and seventy dollar side striper with a gun. All right, so you know you'll feed your hose right to the gun right here, straight here, and maybe that's your machine right there doing the uh, doing the pumping. So basically, you can get in between of cars. It's nice and uh, nice and portable, like you know, it does the job. You don't have the money, and you don't do a lot of line marking at the uh, at, you know at a regular basis. Then that's what you probably might want. This thing right here dispenses um, reflective beads, so you just go like. It's okay, I guess. I haven't sold one. Yet. Yeah, that's all great. Um, HVLP remote pot. Um, I like Titan remote pot um, with their machine. Graco's HVLP is good too. But if you're ever wanting to buy or use a remote pot in the future with a Graco, you have to get this 9.5 Pro Comp, not the 9.5 Pro Contractor or the 7.0 Pool Contractor. You get this one. If you're going to get an HVLP, get Smart Start. What this does is, when you have it on, and you're um, and you've disengaged your trigger on your gun, after 10 seconds your machine will turn off. That means uh, you extend the life of your turbines. Um, these are great; has a nice little compartment. So if you buy a 9.0 uh, to a 9.5, just check inside here. 7.0 won't have a couple extra needles, but the 9.0s and 9.5s will. Um, yeah, and do your rebate online because you get another gun. $490 value. Um, I sell hopper guns too. Um, you know, I'm not doing this video just to, to make a selling video. There's your uh, PC Pro Contractor gun. I just do this video because a lot of guys don't know what exists. And knowing about it is um, it's much more better than not knowing because when you got a job that might require that. Because you work, you got a, you got a hospital job. Are you going to wait till later to find out you could have got your job done in less time than it takes to you know mask a room so just knowing about what exists is uh can help you a lot um but yeah if you're ever unsure call your just you know not every store will have this much stuff but if you go to any kind of reputable store they'll definitely help you out um i already did tips on that or um, a video on tips but yeah, um, just call your. Uh, just don't be shy. Just walk into a t walk into a machine shop or your nearest store with a big selection, and just uh, see what they have. Because like I said, you never know when you might need something that is uh, gonna get you through the job. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a great day. Bye.